hello everybody i am back with another video and today's video is going to be about my modifications so a little bit of a modification update as y'all can see so i know i haven't uploaded in a while and i do apologize i was supposed to be doing a giveaway and i do apologize i am sorry my mentor <laughs> i have failed you uh that'll still be going on i just gotta redo it again um but that'll be for another video but as y'all can see we do have the car here this is my 2021 dodge challenger 392 scat pack and let's start off the modifications that i have done to it since i don't know i'll just do all the modifications one more time as y'all can see right here, we do have the Lighting Trends Flow Series RGB Halo Kit. And these, as you can see, I do have a fog light one. I did have another fog light one, a halo and a fog light, but that came off, as you can see. Now I gotta replace the whole fog light. That RGB halo still works. I reached out to them and they actually said, uh, cause I didn't think that they would be able to replace me just one alone. Uh, but they said like, you know, let them know the halo size. So they might be able to work me out, you know, something that way I don't have to, cause if I buy a whole new set, I'm just gonna try and sell that one individual one. You know, people can make a custom one with it, but that is the headlights. Let me show y'all a preview of them. Here's the main preview that you'll see people put. Now again, these all six uh, Halo pieces were coming out to, I'll throw up the price exactly here, just a little above $500. And I'll, this is the remote that they give you. Off the lighting trends again. And you know, they got a bunch of modes. I mean, it looks even better at night, but. This is my favorite spot and I just decided to drive here right now. So on to the next mod. So as you can see right here, guys, my car is dirty. I'm oh I'm a nasty motherfucker! In, but Anyways, let me turn off the headlights because it could possibly drain your battery. It just depends on, you know, things. But as you can see, I got, it's literally just white vinyl going on the side. Uh, I took it off of this piece because it ended up getting chipped from a rock. Like, you know, it ended up getting chipped from a rock. But as you can see, I got it from KNG Motorsports. Uh, that is where I got these front fins, front canards, if you want to call them. I did have a front lip here, uh, but that's not what this is about. I don't remember how much I paid for the front canards. Actually, they were a gift to me. So uh, the person knows who bought them. I appreciate you still uh, for getting them. But that is the next modification so for those that don't know because there are people who don't know the front canards are supposed to add uh downforce on the front end not that these cars need any more downforce because they're boats already but it just helps and to be honest i just like the way it looks i mean that's what they're put on challenges for bro uh you know anyways on to the next mod so on to the next mod, we have the rear diffuser. Yes, again, mind y'all, I know it's dirty, but this is a rear diffuser. I don't remember the brand that I got it from. I'll throw a picture again. I didn't get all the pieces. I got it used, to be honest. Um, I am missing this middle piece that's, a go that's supposed to go in between. But to be honest, it looks good, you know, for what it is. I got it for like, maybe 200 max dollars again it's used and i went i had to go you know a little ghetto with it i had to spray paint it even but 
I had to put L brackets to hold it together because that middle piece that I'm missing is what holds it all together, but it didn't come with the middle piece and that's probably why the person was selling it. So that is the rear diffuser. Let me turn on the taillights cause y'all will be able to see. You know. On to the next mod. All right y'all, and the next mod is the exhaust. As y'all can see, I do have a quad tip exhaust set up. I have a muffler and resonator delete, and I also have emptied out the inside of my catalytic converters. Um, I have my engine light on, and I do need to get it tuned, but I decided to go with quad exhaust tips because I'll throw up pictures, but they've been on all of my challenges that I've had. And to be honest, I can't remember what inch uh, size that I went with these. But to be honest, I think that they're three inches, but I could be wrong. So don't uh, trust me. But on to the next mod. Sorry, I know it's long. I know y'all already saw it in the video, but as you can see, we do have the taillight design, taillight tint. And I think I got it from Lux Autos. I'll throw up a picture. Uh, pretty cheap you know I think for a cool mod that lasts a long time I love the way these look you know people don't want to be like everyone else so you know other people around me are going with other designs so it's really cool and again for the price I don't think that you can really beat it I love the way these tail light looks tail light <laughs> tint designs look on to the next mod one more time shout out to KNG Motorsports sent the sticker when they sent the uh fins slash canards but next mod is the hellcat red eye spoiler gloss black i got this off of ebay again i'll throw up a picture and again it looks better at night time but at Choosing gloss black was honestly the best decision I could have made, in my opinion. The way it reflects the taillights and the design off the taillights and just, again, the whole design it has. You know, considering the middle part is gloss black, I want to make that middle part gloss black or uh, marble. And, you know, I just have other gloss black parts, like my rims and whatnot um so again this spoiler i got off ebay it was fairly cheap for a modification um you know just two holes that you uh take off the factory spoiler i'll show a picture um not of the holes but of what my factory spoiler looked like and again this was the next modification on to the next one i did have window louvers but they flew off so i don't know if i'm gonna get window louvers again or roof spoiler uh I'm not too sure if I'm gonna... As you can see right here, this isn't really a modification because, again, part of it's not here anymore, but... Plus, uh, I did get these in gloss black, but as you can see, I mean, they're really not glossy anymore. I mean, not nowhere near compared to that eBay spoiler, which is crazy because I got this off of Amazon, I think, I can't lie. It was a gift from my father, but I'm gonna, uh, get, you know, new ones of the side ones, to be honest, because somehow these stayed on for those speeds so gonna get new side ones gloss black uh to be honest i don't know man i really hope i get a covered garage because these with the sun or maybe it's just really bad dirt but those with the sun just get so you know dirty so bad anyways now to the next one sorry because i don't want to make the video way too long here are the next couple mods and as you can see right here, I did have the piece for the steering wheel on the other one, but it fell off. I need to get it fixed, put it back on. But as you can see, you know, I got the neon lights in here. Got it from AutoZone, but I'm going to get the better ones from Lighting Trends. I'll throw up a picture. Um, those ones are way better. I'll throw up a small video of what they look like in someone else's car. And, you know, shout out to the hoes going back. Them. 
but as you can see here i um wrapped this all in marble and actually what i think i'm gonna do it's all like fake carbon underneath is what i wrapped um but what i think i'm gonna do is take all of it off and then take the actual parts out and wrap that in white marble and uh, because i would like to wrap the whole car in white and white marble and gloss black one day so and that is as for the next mug so I'm, i plan on replacing it but this is diamond cut floor mats that my father got me i have them for the back seats but i'm not gonna waste y'all's time on that and i have it for this other seat but it's very trashy uh, i do apologize but i'm not gonna cap to y'all um that is about the mods for that i do have the whole back seat gutted and everything but that was just so honestly i could save weight save fuel whatever you want to say but guys to be honest that is about all of the modifications that i have done to this car that is the official update i haven't really done anything else to it I plan on actually getting my financial life straight and back on track and building my credit up again before I do any more modifications, but I would like to do more YouTube shorts or whether if it's just, you know, it, just whatever I can really make content about, I'm still going to attempt to do, but you know and modifications i'm still gonna attempt to get you know when i can uh just again just trying to get all my basically my adult life together you know you know now that i'm you know a grown-up and so that is again it for the video guys again i appreciate y'all tuning in if you enjoyed the video Make sure you like the video, make sure you subscribe, comment what your favorite part is, comment if you have a challenger, if you have a Mopar in general, and again, I appreciate y'all tuning by. Y'all have a blessed day. Goodbye.